Hello, good morning. I would like to address the Nigerian lawmakers about the rampart arrest of people who are considered to cyberbully people. A lot of men have been arrested for cyberbully, cyber stalking. But there's a bigger issue that I think that we need to be able to address as people. I am a content creator and I'm not speaking about this just because of a personal experience but because I understand how it's affecting people speaking out collectively. We can remember around 2005, 2006, 2000, till 2010, there was a, a situation going on then. I was a bit younger when I hear how men were assaulting people, where there was a lot of chaos, battles, fight among people. And as human beings, people would fight. Even in domestic violence, we have seen people lost their life and we have to get to a position to understand that one of the cause of anger is when mind of a human has not been able to comprehend or express their emotion we are addressing cyber stalking or cyber bully today like it is a murder case we are addressing cyber stalking and cyber bully today like it is a case of a kidnapping case. A lot of people who have been alleged or accused of cyberbully have found themselves in prison. I was just released from prison too. For what? Cyber stalking, cyber bully. And it is not because I am saying that anyone who cyber stalk or cyber bully shouldn't be arrested or shouldn't face the wrath of the law. But I wanted to ask a question. Why are people who are being accused of cyberbully, a lot of them in my opinion and the ones that I have communicated with, many investigations are not done to even know the side of the story of the person who is being accused of cyberbully. Because someone would say, this person spoke about me the other day and because this person spoke about me and what the person said about me is not fine. Then the police would take steps immediately arrest the person and before the person say oh ha they've thrown the person inside jail they've charged the person to court a lot of investigations are not done in my experience of what happened i spoke about certain real estates my experience in the real estates that i bought property from i was treated badly i was assaulted i reported to the police station you know companies company 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 you know how they do their things I reported and they said, okay, they even issued an arrest warrant. And these people begin to threaten and all of that. And it got to a particular point that I got fed up because my life was at risk. I felt my life was at risk because of the assault that I have faced. And I spoke about what I experienced in the organization. And because of that, I went to prison. When I was being arrested, the person who came to arrest me did not even tell me why I was being arrested. I spent three days in the station without being told the purpose of why I was there. The government need to consider the fact that when we talk about cyberbullying, we have to look at the fact that people are trying to express their feelings. And like I said earlier, there are different parts of cyberbullying. There are all these people that we can consider that they would bully you simply because they uh, maybe someone is having a sexual issue and they video that person and they post it online. Yes, that should be a different grade. There are other people who encourage violence and courtesy and maybe killing or fighting and all of that. Yes, they can face certain different degree of law. When certain people talk about or ab as abusing someone online or bullying someone online and requesting money from that person for them to stop the bully, that is like money laundering. That's like you doing fraud. Yes, there should be a different thing that is pertaining to such an act. But when people speak up and they speak a side of their own story, when the law enforcement goes after these people, I think that the law enforcement needs to learn that there are different grades of how they should treat each cases. But rather, maybe you are right or you are wrong. Maybe what you say is true or not. Once they hold your phone, they call it an exhibit. And before you know anything, 
you will charge to court for it. And putting people who you say they speak their opinion and because of that, you keep them in the position with people in the prison that are kidnappers, that are murderers, that are rapists, that are money launderers. And I begin to ask myself, how do we equate such, how do we call that justice when everyone who commits the same crime or who commits different crimes are all put in the same box? Now, I'm not saying that, oh, one person should be special than another person. But you, the only thing that has always bring the difference in the, in the prison experience has always been that those who have more money. So if people who have more money now have certain privileged cells there, then that means that we are encouraging for the fact that people should rather steal than people should act, rather express themselves. If the law has to take justice and to be sincere in addressing the issue of cyberbully, I think that anyone who is found in cyberbully, number one, should be fined if true yes you can be fined for maybe 50 maybe 100k maybe 200k and they have to know the purpose behind the, the words you say what transpired between the two parties because the problem of nigerian law system is that once one goes to the police station and the complainant lay complain most times the inspector that is in charge of the case does not do a lot of investigation and when i say they don't do a lot of investigation majority of them don't do a lot of investigation except those who have the fear of god because integrity and dignity me i don't used to see too i don't see it in, in our law enforcement yes i have seen people there was a time when i was being arrested because i spoke about my experience in the same place before i was being charged to court which the trial is about to begin when I spoke about my experience, the inspector that took me, there were about four officers and three of them saw the reality of what I was talking about. And they encouraged me and they say, these people are richer than you. Yes, they would want to take certain things, but you step back. One of them is so much interested in, oh, let us charge him to court, blah, blah, blah. And they took me to one of their superior, which is a female. And she looked into the case and she was like, invite this other party, let's discuss on this case before we know what to do but most times once a complainant writes there would not be a conversation regarding it maybe an undertaking that the the person who bully you if truly the person bully you and the person is not speaking of the experience of what this individual has done to them that the person should retract the statements publicly and the person should take down the video he has said let the person take down the video and probably the person should pay or make another thing that is going to pay fine and such things will not repeat itself now i understand that if you put out a video it is possible that other people will share it yes these are the dangers of it but i want to ask a question if men are told not to be able to speak up their mind anymore simply because they think that fighting is the best way and then they they have been addressed as violent animals and the rest of it and now they find a civil way to address issue you might say it is a cyber bully it is not what cyber is a way of acting a little bit civil than violence because the moment people cannot express themselves they result to violence so why are investigations not done why are laws not made for different people there should be there should be different criteria of cyberbully. Why is it that everything once you say something, these days around from in my experience, you say truth or not, you make mistake in words or not, brrr, you go to prison. And it is easy for them to do this because now men have become women by the way they express themselves. There is no education in the country that can even inform people so they can even be able to articulate their words in a certain kind of way but you can't expect someone who has been slapped and beaten for example to come online and not speak exactly what has happened to him and in fact even rain costs on the person who does something like that to them now i'm not saying there are no exceptions to rules in the sense that there are people who do some kind of things and all of that but how do we continue in putting all the 
people who speak up their mind, who speak up things, will lock everybody inside prison with the hardened criminal, with those who have actually committed what we call um, capital offense. You put all of them in the same prison. Let me say this so you don't think I'm so ignorant. I am aware of the fact that you can say things and those things can destroy one's reputation. And that is why there should be a price to be paid for it if you destroy someone's reputation especially if that person is innocent of what you accuse them on or what you bully them on but we speak about cyberbully like we and we know that certain people may take actions like oh they want to go commit suicide yes the extreme version of it some people may decide to commit suicide please so with the i want to ask a question with how difficult nigeria is with how bad this country is people did not commit suicide so you think that there's something that I will say to you that will make you kill yourself. That person already has a mission to probably commit suicide in the first place. Sorry, pardon my statement for saying it. But most likely that person had an intention of doing that. But let us put something at the side that there's a possibility that there's something you can say and somebody think of taking their life. So... If that person reports to the police, the police is supposed to call the, the bully person, arrest the bully person, investigate why the person says it. Is it doing it because they want to make money? What are their communication? What actually transpired? They have to do a lot of investigation, at least give it a time. Then if the, if the if, why they are doing the investigation, someone who has not committed the capital offense and the person speak up their mind, the person should be given time to do certain things. In fact, cyberbullying should have been a civil matter. In my case, when you say cyberbully and you speak up something, somebody say threats to life. When you speak up something, somebody say um, what they call they say threat to life, cyber stalking, cyberbully, conspiracy. If I speak up something about what I see about person, and you call that conspiracy. Please, how can an individual conspire to talk about what somebody else has done? And in fact, here is one thing that even baffles me about this cyberbully issue. Please, so news that used to speak, that used to tell us news, when they don't support one party and they support one party, what do they really do when they are telling news? They praise this other one and they kind of reduce these other ones to whatever somebody say they will bring this person down and we act as if cyberbully has not been existing in our news that it is the people who are now speaking on social media who people consider to be social media influencers and the rest of it that are actually the cyberbully we understand that news have been construed in one way or the other to make the narrative suit certain kind of people but what i am saying in essence is that the punishment for it is too much the, and the investigations are not being done in my experience. No investigation, they won't question you in my own. No, nothing, nothing. No investigation. I was just there. Three days later, I was sent to court. And I spent two months, ten days before I was being granted bail. In fact, the person who carried me there, they were even bragging. A lot of people were bragging that I would spend six months or one year inside prison. Why should one spend six months, one year inside prison? Because it says something. And in fact, they've not even looked into the case before it is being presented to the court, to the to the to a jurisdiction that would address such an issue. The question is, what investigation has been done? Not that someone would just write one IP would just get tired, he would just look at the case, and because of one thing, one thing, he just sign go 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 and immediately drop it and say, Let's charge the case to court. And the thing would go to court. And you know our court system is actually everybody knows. Go today, come tomorrow, go today, come tomorrow, and it's okay, it's fine. Because if you say something, you have to defend yourself. But when you get remanded. And when you are remanded, you are remanded with people who commit capital, capital offense. And they say, because those ones are still on trial. So you should be with those kind of people. And you ask, where is the where is the justice in most of these things? And we ask a question, how far are we going to go in the aspect of taking both our voices, both our, we can't, we can't, our actions we are responsible for our actions now we are responsible for what we say and i'm not saying it is bad but the question is how do we address it 
we are addressing it so aggressively that it will come to a point that people would not be able to speak up and when people cannot speak up you ask yourself what is the alternative let our law um, people who who create laws for us let them look into it let them think of the psychological effect of people not opening their mouth to speak action becomes the next move and if you don't understand me and you think i don't know what i'm saying good luck to nigeria god help us let every cyber bully be a civil case but if there's a one of maybe sexual this thing misconduct you, you you video somebody and all of that you put it online and you try to punish the person there are certain things that can destroy relationship marriages and all of that but not an issue of maybe you have misunderstanding with someone and you say something just like the issue of very dark man the other day and turned to dk and yabo Ujo, and they wanted him to go to prison the same thing applicable to me the same thing applicable to certain people that i met in the prison they speak up their, their their mind they speak up on what they see and i'm not saying that oh they they they, they, they are totally right or whatever i'm saying that they are no proper investigation the moment these things are being charged the the thing the moment these things are being brought to the station they ask you one question one day the next morning they charge you to court and it is a cyber bully not a criminal offense, not armed robbery. Wow. We have to think about this if we want to continue in a civil manner of addressing issues. And I'm not saying it is okay for people to bully people. No, that's not what I'm saying. It is not okay for people to bully people. But what I'm saying to cyber bully, cyber stalking, I don't encourage any of it. But what I'm saying is that let the law uh, creator or whatever law enforcement and all of that let them look into this matter and look at it and ask yourself what punishment is right for these people and how should we address this issue because ipos are using this as an opportunity most inspectors are using this as an opportunity And I don't think that a, a state or a nation where people cannot speak up, even if it is not true, but people cannot give their honest opinion on things or speak up about the things that they experience, which I'm saying there should be a moderation to a certain degree. Maybe certain account, or if someone says certain things, you would they would report this account three, four, four, five times if they, they realize that, okay, whatever this person says is not true. Maybe there's something they can do. Okay, you can seize the person's phone. I know the person can always open another phone and do whatever. But maybe go through all the old message, check everything, look at what transpired, hear the story from both sides. Not a complainant will just leave complaint and the next thing you just do is you charge the other person to court without hearing the other side of the story. You tell the person, write statement, write statement, and the person writes statement, and the moment before you know, you charge the person to court. When it's some things that are supposed to be civil, we make everything to want to be criminal case. Ah, hey, wow, this country, God will help us.